hello guys my name is kishan and today we are going to look at how a function can return multiple value as we know function would definitely return a value to its calling environment what if we want more than one values to be returned say suppose for a given department uh, employee id i want the first name last name and the department name in which the employee works so how to achieve such a thing where you know more than one data is required as we know we can have only one return statement in a function like only one return statement would be executed and the calling of the function will go to the host environment uh, in a previ in a previously done video i have shown how we can use out parameters with procedures and return multiple values you know it is very damn easy doing that way but if you are working with a function it becomes a little complicated because if you want to return more than one parameter then it is always advised to use a uh, procedure but if function is required then today i'll show you a way through by using an object a nested table and then creating a function based on them so let's begin so the three things that we are going to do is first of all we are going to create an object type and the the benefit that we get by using an object type is that we can have comma separated attributes for an object you know object at times uh, can be considered like a package in which we have you know variables and functions and procedures though definitely object is not a package it is a totally different concept but just to understand we can think of it as a package then we can use a nested table as we know nested tables can you know hold data and it's a key where uh, key value pair so if we create a nested uh, table based on an object type so then we can use that nested table as a return in the return statement and return that uh, you know uh, multiple values to the calling environment and now after that we'll create a function which uses this nested table uh, to you know perform the logic uh, get the data put the data in nested table and then return it so why we are doing like this is because first of all we need to have an object why an object because uh, we want multiple values to be returned we want say suppose first name last name and salary to be returned so to hold more than one record you know for uh, say employee one we have first name last name and salary three things to return so we can create an object with these three uh, you know attributes and then create a nested table of this object so it will be like the nested table will be like for position one it will store first name last name salary then again for position two it will store first name last name salary so we will have multiple uh, uh, multiple indexes or multiple uh, key places for which we will have um, values like three values at a place and then we will create a function that selects and uh, returns this particular nested type so i'll just show a small example on it so here this first statement what we are seeing is we are creating and we are creating an object so create a replace object object name over here create a replace type object type as object and then these are the three attributes that is first name with data type last name with data type and i am i am taking department name so that uh, data type so we can have all the whatever details that we want to get from you know our uh, for procedure, uh, procedure or function that needs to be given over here like i want these three things for a given employee id so i have uh, kept them inside i have created them inside an object and then we will create a simple nested table based on the object so nested table would be like create type type name is table of you know the object that we created so once an object is created and once a nested table is created then we can go and create our function object is a much deeper concept object can have their own procedure function much more but all those things are not required for this particular session so i am just concentrating on you know object as uh, as a placeholder for various attributes uh, or properties you can say as we wish these are comma separated and we can have multiple of them and also an also an object can we uh, will be created at the database level and can be you know um, used by multiple sessions so that's why an object is the best uh, if you are you if you are working just inside a procedure you can even create a record type but here you need to throw back to the uh, 
calling environment so the calling environment must understand it so that's why it is created at the database level okay so i'll just create a object type so that is with create or replace type type name again or replace is optional so create type type name as object and then inside the parenthesis we will give our properties or attributes and then we create the nested table again it is create or replace is optional so create type type name is table of nested table so nested table is created uh, over here we have created the nested table uh, type uh, with a type of the object see create rip, uh, create or replace type type name is table of the object that we created that is emp object type so now this nested table has the ability to store these three attributes of the object okay so for uh, for key uh, key value pair for key 1 it will store first name last name department id for key 2 again it will store these three so we so now uh, we will be able to you know get three three or more than um, one number of uh, attributes and then we come to the create function now create function is pretty simple only the thing that we need to take care is the return statement over here as you can see i am returning the nested table type because the nested table is created at the database level i can return that type because now database understands what emp tbl type is you know emp tbl type is nothing but a nested table that is created in the database uh, and then I declare three variables. Now this is one way. There are two ways to do this. First of all, I'll show a very simple way where I'm declaring three variables in which I'll be holding the data. Okay. And then comes the nested table variable declaration and initialization. What over here I do is I tell I am declaring a variable of that nested table data type and I'm initializing it. This is an empty initialization. Okay. So when you write uh, your variable namespace the nested table type it will create a variable for that nested table type which can be further used also to use it I need to initialize it so I'm initializing over here it's an empty initialization otherwise you can uh, if, if not an empty initialization then you will be giving here values inside which will be then assigned to that uh, nested table but we are not go going into that I'm just doing an empty initialization and I'm extending the nested table so that currently there will be no records, no placeholders, but when I extend it, one it, it will create a space for holding record. Okay. Then we come in the our select statement. This is nothing but a pretty simple select statement where I take the first name, last name, and department name of the entered employee ID based on their tables. And I am just storing it into the three variables that I have declared over here. Okay. So now uh, comes the little part where you need to understand now what I am doing is the object that I created over here the object type I am using by using that object type constructor that is this object name parenthesis I am uh, signing these three variables value into the declared nested table type so I am saying like for this is the object type constructor by using it I am taking these three variables and putting it into the newly declared variable of nested table type at location 1 that's why I specified 1 over here as I have shown in that ppt for now for even in a nested table for 1 2 3 4 any number of uh, places I can have 3 3 values uh, so that that is what happens over here I am assigning these three variables at this particular location that is the first location and then I am returning that to the calling environment so as simple as that so I will just repeat the function so the function takes input of an employee ID returns the ta nested table type that we declared okay then there are variables which are declared just to you know catch the output of the select statement and then we have declared a variable of the nested table type so that we can then return it store data into this variable and then return this variable so that is the need for this nested table variable then I extend the nested table variable I select the data into our required three declared variables and then using a object type constructor I'll just throw these three values that is first name last name and department name in, at the very first location of the nested table now nested table as we know it is a densely filled uh, so at the very first location the first data is filled 
and after our work is done over here i am just returning that to the calling environment so i'll just create this function as you can see the function is created now a very easy way to call this function is from a select statement why because there are no database updates in this uh, uh, function so i can call it from a select statement so i'll write something like select star from table and then i'll pass the function name and the required data into this now when you do a select star from table you are like telling oracle that i know that uh, a collection type is returned over here but please change it to a DB rdbms table type for me and show it on the screen so this table is a uh, constructor used for doing that it is like telling the database that i know that this is a collection this will return a collection or uh, it's a, if in a uh, procedure like it is a collection but just change it to the rdbms table type to me so oracle will do a conversion of collection to a table and we will get the return so as you can see i just executed for employee id 100 and i got first name last last name and department name so i have not used any multiple out parameters say suppose you want to return 15 things to the environment then uh, for you will uh, declare 15 different variables and then it will be very difficult to maintain it instead just create an object type with all the 15 variables that we need create a nested table ba based on that and return that nested table to the calling environment okay so this is like when I uh, give an employee ID I get the output now say suppose I make it for all the employees I just remove the employee ID condition I'll remove it from here also now I'll recompile the function and now when I execute it uh, okay I, as I have removed an input from here I have to remove input from here also over here it's a select into this variable so it is not allowing so in that case what to do say suppose you are not working with a specific variable you are working with multiple variables so to you uh, under work under that condition there is one more way which I will show and that is like instead of taking your outputs into three different variables and then you know working and then assigning those three different variables to the nested table using the object constructor what I do is I just select those uh, required details like first name last name and department name I tell I use the object constr uh, constructor and I just do a bulk collect into this EMP details now when you use a bulk collect into as we know the number of context switches will be less and the execution of the uh, pro procedure or function will be better so I have just done a bulk collect into this uh, nested table type and that also not for any particular department ID it's like for uh, not for any particular employee ID like for all so use what I did over here was after getting it into three different variables then using a constructor I was putting into nested tables but here I am directly using the constructor in the select statement itself and putting the details into the nested table uh, variable that through to a bulk collect so it will be faster now when I execute uh, compile this function and then I execute it as you can see I get all the details I get all the employees present in the employee table okay so this is one of the way two different ways how you can do the achieve the same functionality so I hope this video was informative we have learned quite a lot on objects nested tables creating function that returns nested tables and you know without using any out parameter we have returned multiple values to the calling environment also we have learned on this select star from table in which we pass the uh, function that returns a collection type and oracle will change that particular collection type to an rdbms table and then show us the result so i hope this video was informative you guys enjoyed it please do like share and subscribe please do let me know your thoughts in the comments this is kishan signing off thank you